We've travelled up to Birkenhead on Merseyside and we're visiting Ian at his company, MacFab. And Ian is going to give me a tour because I know this company is growing and you've got lots of plans for the future. Yes, we have got lots of plans. Uh, we had a, an idea two years ago to diversify the company. Um, we are predominantly a, a, a conventional machine shop, um, but we wanted to get into CNC work, but we wanted to try and do something different to everyone else. Yes. Um, so we went down the 3D printer route, we're trying to get into additive manufacturing. Um, so we work with the Liverpool Innovation Fund and we managed to get funding with them to be able to purchase uh, our first 3D printer. So we're going to see that in a moment, but what have we got behind us here? So this is our um, conventional machine shop. So we've got uh, four lathes. Um, the biggest will swing 1.6 metres, four and a half metres long. We've got numerous milling machines. We do boring, we do drilling, we do grinding. And you've we got a fabrication a shop and we've across got a the fabrication road. shop next door, which does sheet metal work and structural steel. Wow, okay, and this here is the, one, of, one of the latest purchases that you've made, which is, of course, 3D printer. Yeah, so this is our new toy. Uh, so it's, <laughs> it's printing at the minute. We have got a job on it at the moment for a, for a new customer. Um, we're doing bits of you know, odds and sods with trials. Um, but yeah, we're, we're made up to purchase this. The reason we got this um, was to, like I said, to try and get into additive manufacturing for prototyping, for R&D work. Um, if we can get a final project where we have a finalised part, we would never be able to uh, offer the service to make that. So we have now invested in CNC machinery to be able to offer the full package. And I know previously, and let's go around to your latest okay. purchase now as well, is you have said to me in the meeting before this video is the fact that you weren't always remaining competitive in terms of batch work. And that's another reason as to why you've gone for these, not one, <laughs> but two two guard machines. Yeah, so we weren't competitive on, um, on volume work uh, because obviously everybody had CNC machines. We would have, would have had to make them conventionally, which takes a, a, a lot longer. So we took the decision um, as part of the project. We got the 3D printer, we got the CNC machine, we've got a horizontal turning center due to arrive in the next few weeks as well. Great. Um, so yeah, we're, we're all systems go. We've now got to fill the capacity on the machines. <laughs> and it's an interesting story because you've not just gone for one, you've gone for two. Tell us the, the story behind this. So the story behind this one, um, Dugard actually gave us this as a test machine. We, we, ordered, we decided to buy uh, the bigger machine. Hmm. They gave us this one for our guys to learn on. Um, and we liked it that much, we bought this one as well. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> and I know you really, you've gone for the larger machine kind of to get that edge over your competition, but what type of work are you planning to put on here? Because you've got a, a, you know, a strong, powerful uh, spindle there as well and a larger table. Yeah, so we, we're quite diverse on what we can, what we can put on here. Um, the reason we've got the fourth axis is obviously so we can do, we can offer a further service. We've got the Renishaw probing on it so we can take measurements of parts before we take them off, which mm. uh, a certain customer has asked us, can we do that? Um, so yeah, we can do that as well. Uh, but it's a, got a, like you say, it's got a powerful spindle. We can take uh, big chunks of material off of, mm. and, and we can t put hard steels on it as well. And you've gone for the fourth axis too. So all in all, for anybody who's watching, why would you encourage them to choose MacFab? Our service more than anything uh, we pride ourselves on on service um, we know we can make the parts we know do we can make them right um, but we pride ourselves that the cost will be right and we will deliver on time and you will get what you've asked for